Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to explain the entire outline of the EBTB transformation program. All right, so I wanna go over some of these steps so it's very clear what you're supposed to do throughout the entire program. Some of it's gonna be from a philosophical standpoint, the structure of things, how I do my own training, and as well as understanding what to do once you get into the program. So let's go ahead and look at the very first phase at the top here welcome slash onboarding. This is gonna take about a week. And the reason for that is I wanna make sure you have a complete understanding of what you're supposed to be doing each and every step along the way. And the reason why this is important is because I don't want you to ever feel overwhelmed. Um, you should never feel like you've got a, a gazillion things to do and you just can't keep up with all of it. All right, that's the number one killer of transformations, of any kind of transformation. And so I want you to feel relaxed and kind of fluid in the process. You know what you should be doing, you've planned ahead of time, you've got it all, all your ducks in a row, you don't feel like things are just stacking up on top of you, okay? So the welcome slash onboarding is the very first thing that you're going to see once you get into the program. So you pay for the program, it's gonna send you to a link, and that link is gonna get you started on the actual membership area where you're gonna get all of your information, all of your downloads, all your videos, all your instructions, every single thing is gonna be in that area. So you're gonna create a login, you're gonna have that login, you're gonna log in whenever you wanna watch the videos, you wanna download some uh, worksheets or whatever it is you have to do, all right? So you're gonna get a welcome video, kind of like this one, just saying, hey, welcome to the program, I'm super pumped to start working with you, let's get things started. Um, and then the second video that you're gonna get, and by the way guys, there's gonna be lots of videos in this program. So there's gonna be lots of videos explaining things, there's gonna be lots of videos um, showing you how to do certain things, there's gonna be workbooks, I mean there's a whole entire process to this that I'm really excited to share with you, I'm really excited to work on making this transformation something you're really looking forward to. So after the welcome video, you're gonna to go to the understanding the four pillars of transformation. It's important as kind of a foundational part of the program that you understand how this works. So understanding the four pillars and understanding how we're gonna be implementing them. Now the first one is, uh, is uh, actually sleep. So we're gonna be working on sleep pretty much from the get-go. Now this isn't gonna take very long to work with. Um, working on sleep is, a, is just some minor tweaks um, sometimes there's supplementation, sometimes there's not. Sometimes it's just understanding that we have to really get to bed on time and if we're having a hard time going to sleep, some things we can do to make that easier. And prioritizing sleep is our very first foundational principle. Then we're gonna work in nutrition. So nutrition is gonna come in pretty dang early. In fact, it's the first real big thing we're gonna be working on. And the reason why I wanna work on nutrition first is that I've been a coach for many years. And one of the things that I've often see not only with guys, but back when I was working with women more exclusively too, is that if you try to pile on nutrition and exercise at the same time, a lot of times it doesn't work. And it's, it's probably the number one reason why most people don't get their transformation results is because they're trying to balance too many things at once. If you've never juggled before and all of a sudden I gave you three balls and said, you better start juggling all those or you know, I'm gonna shoot you in the foot, you would, you would you'd, you'd get shot in the foot because it's hard to just go from nothing to start juggling everything. So I'm, basically partitioning things out based on a timeline that I feel is doable for you and what's been shown to work best for my clients. Now, that's not to say that if you excel in one thing that you have to wait a certain amount of time until you start getting exercise, but it's to give you plenty of room to get your nutrition down, to get the flow of things down, to get the whole grocery list and the meal prep, some of the meal prep you'll be doing, eating the right foods, making that switch metabolically to start eating healthier foods that are gonna help you lose weight. And what's really cool about this phase, in the nutrition phase, is we see a lot of weight loss. We actually see a lot of weight loss in that first month. And what ends up happening is, is that the guy that's you know losing that weight is motivated to start moving in because it doesn't hurt to move. It doesn't hurt to get out of bed. He feels like he has energy in the morning. This is the results that I've gotten with all of my male clients. And it really motivates me and inspires me to talk about it because it's such a powerful system that I think most people are getting done or doing incorrectly. So then after we get some of the nutrition foundation started, we're gonna start moving into the mindset side of things. Now, I've had some guys in the past ask me why the mindset side of things is so important. And I want you to think about your worst day. I want you to think about the absolute worst day. You wake up and instantly it's the worst day and it doesn't get any better throughout the entire day. Well, when you have bad news, when you're overly stressed, when there are things that are just not going your way, 
you will typically put things like exercise, nutrition, the, the goals that you're trying to make during this transfer, transformation on the back burner. And we don't want that to happen. We want to continue our momentum. Now, I'm not saying that you have to necessarily, you know, tackle it the same with 100% as you did before, but you have to stay on track. You have to stay on course. You have to keep that momentum alive. And the thing that's going to do that is your mindset. If you think about things the correct way, you can literally change the entire world and change the world around you by simply just prioritizing a certain way of thinking, both in good and bad situations. So mindset is going to be something we're gonna be working on throughout the entire program, but it's gonna start in priority list third after nutrition. And then you might see movement is the very last thing. This is your exercise. You might be wondering why exercise is at the very last and Again, this goes back to what I was talking about when, I came, when it came to nutrition and, and noticing that most of the male clients that were really focused on nutrition in the beginning, they had better long-term results. So again, I'm not after a quick 30 pound weight loss and then gaining all back. I wanna transform you and then teach you how to maintain that transformation for the rest of your life. So what I found is that if I moved exercise as a third priority, people actually were interested in going into exercise versus it feeling like a chore. And I'm not saying that every workout's gonna be amazing, but what I am saying is, is that it, you should feel good in your workouts. You should feel like you're improving your body and not like this, this is overwhelming thing. They're completely getting drained. Your days are so much harder. It's hard to stay on nutrition planning because you have no energy, no willpower. And anyway, that's what I've seen work best. So that's why it comes last. So after you go through those videos and that kind of philosophy is taught to you, even though you're watching this now and you're getting kind of a snippet of it, you're gonna move on to the intake form. So the intake form is going to be about a 15 to 20 minute on average form that you're going to fill out. It's gonna ask you lots of questions about your sleep habits, your eating habits, your exercise habits. It's gonna ask you other things like your movement history, like have you exercised in the past? Um, how much weight do you wanna lose? Um, do you have any injuries? Are you taking any medication? So a lot of the preliminary stuff that's really good to know up front, and then we'll build a very customized approach to how we do things within the structure I've already built based on the answers to those questions. So like, for example, if your sleep is way off the charts, well, we're already tackling sleep first, but let's say your sleep is off the charts, then boom, we go jump right into sleep and we make sure that we prioritize that first and get the ball rolling on that, and then we'll move to the next phase, which is typically nutrition, which is, in, in, well, in every program it's nutrition. Um, but let's say you come in and your sleep is perfect, like you're 90% you're, you're hitting all of your, your daily sleep goals, you're going to bed on time, you're not having a hard time you know, going to sleep and staying asleep, then we can go over that, but then we'll go right into nutrition and really start hitting things. So it's, it's very customized, but there is a structure within it to give you plenty of flexibility based on what I see work as a coach. All right, so then after that, you're gonna to go to a third page. And by the way, you're not doing all this in one day. Um, a lot of guys will tackle um, understanding the four pillars in one to two days, maybe three days. Again, there's no rush on this. There's no like specific timeline. Um, I just want you guys to keep working on it the best you can. The intake form is usually a day's worth of work because a lot of guys don't have a fr free time to just jump into the next section. Um, but after the intake form, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be downloading the initial um, workout packet, which we'll use later, the initial eating plan, which is we'll talk about in another video, and then we're gonna be uh, getting you uh, situated with a call link. So every week we are gonna get on a call and we're gonna schedule that call for anywhere between 15 minutes to an hour. Now, the, one of the benefits of online coaching is, is that if you only have 15 minutes, like let's say you're hitting all your numbers, there's really nothing to go over that's really deep, then what we do is we just spend as much time as we, mean, we need to, but we don't spend any more time. We don't have to spend the whole hour talking if we don't need to, but if you need that hour to really dive in deep, to really start, maybe you're really struggling with, uh, with sleep, or maybe you're really struggling with the mindset side of things, or maybe the nutrition is 100% clear to you. We can spend that entire hour really diving in deep and making sure you're 100% clear before the, the call ends. So you'll get that booking call, and, and that's something that you're gonna wanna do about a week from when you start the program. So once you pay for the program, you start getting into those four initial pillars, um, you'll wanna book a call and make that happen right away, all right? So after the initial packet that you get with all the information, we're then gonna go into the measurements and understanding how to keep track of all the progress we're making. All right, so the very first thing I wanna go over is the fact that we're only gonna weigh ourselves once a week. So for some of you, might, that might be odd, for some of you, that might be normal. Um, we're only gonna weigh ourselves once a week and we're gonna do it in a very specific way, and we'll talk about that in that video. 
Um, and then the measurements. We're only gonna measure three key areas. We don't have to go like head to toe with all our different measurements. Um, I used to do that and what I realized was is that most people were losing weight in their neck, their waist, and their hips, um, whether you're a guy or a girl. So I just decided that, that was probably a more important thing. Plus the photos we're gonna be taking are gonna be giving us a very clear picture on where we're losing fat from the get-go. And again, it's just, it's a, it's a very important measurement to be taking, but we don't wanna overwhelm ourselves with having to do this all the time. So we're gonna take this every two weeks. This is something we're only gonna do twice or once every two weeks. Um, and then the other thing that we're gonna be doing is taking photos every two weeks. So basically you'll weigh yourself once a week on the same day under the same conditions. We'll go over that in, in that video. Then every two weeks you'll take your measurements with a measuring tape, which you can pick up at any, you can get on Amazon um, and I'll help you guys out with that link if you need that. Um, and then you're gonna take photos every two weeks. And the reason why I only take photos every two weeks is because if you take a photo every week, it's, it gets kind of tedious. You're not gonna see results every single week necessarily. Some guys do, some guys don't. It just depends on how much you have to lose. Um, but again, we wanna stay consistent with tracking so that we can make adjustments if we need to, but we don't wanna feel overwhelmed with having to always make sure we have our numbers dialed in. Um, they're more of just making sure we're staying on, on the right track versus like obsessing over it. And I never obsess over weight. Um, I had a guy one time whose weight went up uh, the following week and I told him not to worry about it and sure enough, it went back down. Um, you know, weight fluctuations. It's just a way to keep things kind of on, on the ball, so to speak. All right, so once we get through that initial phase, what we're gonna be going into is the real meat and potatoes of the program, phases one through four. So phase one is all about sleep. And we can spend a lot of time on this or a little bit of time on this. It just depends on the person and how many sleep issues they have. And we'll go over that in the intake form. If someone clears where they, they don't have to spend a ton of time on organizing all their sleep, then no problem. If someone needs a lot of help, then we spend more time on that. Um, so then we go into phase two, which is setting your goals and developing a vision. Now this is something that is often overlooked and a lot of people think that this part isn't as important as the nutrition as the exercise, but I would say that it is the most important part simply because of the thing that I was talking about earlier. When you have a bad day, when things aren't going perfectly, you have to have some type of motivation, some type of system, some type of mission statement that gets you through that day and keeps you on track. The nutrition plan is great. The exercise plan will get you the results you're looking for. The problem is, is that there are tons of really good nutrition programs, tons of good exercise programs, tons of great coaches. But if there isn't something that grounds you to the results you're trying to get, you'll have a very hard time maintaining those results. I've literally worked with people when, back when I didn't really know anything about mindset training that got all the results, were super stoked, and I saw them a year later and they gained all the weight back. So you have to have a, a shift in mindset without like completely changing your personality. You have to start thinking about things differently. And when you start thinking about things differently, it becomes much easier to maintain results over time. All right, so then phase three, we'll be going into some more mindset training. Um, now keep in mind, while we're going through sleep, while we're going through setting goals and setting a vision, while we're going through the transformation mindset, we're eating on this nutrition plan. So that's why you download it in the very beginning. That's why we go over it in the very first call. But once you get the program, once I go over it with you, it's pretty much automatic. There's a grocery list in there. We'll talk about that when we get to nutrition. There's a bunch of stuff that's really gonna help you out and make it super crystal clear as to what it is that you need to follow. So we'll get to that in the next section. So then the transformation mindset is helping you develop a positive outlook on what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it. And then you have that mission statement, you have that vision that's really grounding you to why it's so important to stay motivated every single day. I, I get DMs on Instagram, on Facebook, I get emails all the time like, how do I stay motivated? I stay motivated because I spent a good amount of my time when I was first developing my business, really making sure I understood what my vision was, making sure why I was so passionate, making sure that I understood what it is that motivated me when things got really bad. Because you can be motivated when things are going really good, but when, when shit hits the fan, what's keeping you grounded to, to the results and the habits you're trying to form or you're trying to promote, all right? So then we get to the eating phase, which is phase three. Now, in the eating plan that I've created for this program, there are three major components to it. Um, first is the actual eating plan itself, which is drawn out and outlined specifically for all 12 weeks. And I won't go into that in this specific video, but I did wanna mention that just going forward. So it's all laid out exactly what you're supposed to do. 
Um, all the rules that are in, implemented, like for example, week one is like get rid of all the junk food, no sugar. We got to reset the system. We got to get the body back into enjoying whole food nutrition, back to getting things really to, to ground level so we can build up from there and really build a, a solid nutrition program. And um, by the way, with the nutrition program, there are some rules and some and some foods and recipes, but everything is manipulatable. Um, as long as it stays within a you know specific framework that I approve, we can change things in and out. Like that, I was working with a guy the other day who hates avocados. So we just switched some of the meals that have avocados with something else, some other good type of healthy fat, and he was good to go. So it's a template that we, we structure and we, we focus on, but there's always something we can manipulate if we need to, so you don't feel like you have to eat foods you don't like. That's not the goal. Again, this is about a lifetime achievement. We're trying to make this happen over a lifetime, and you're not gonna be able to achieve it over a lifetime if you're trying to eat foods you don't like for the rest of your life. All right, so then from the eating plan, from the 12-week setup that you have there, you also get a bunch of recipes. And so the way the template is set up is there's basically a schedule of what to eat and when to eat it. And then you can pick from some of the recipes. And if there's something on there that you want to tweak a little bit, like I was mentioning earlier, we can tweak it a little bit as long as it stays in the framework, which is why the coaching and the support aspect of this is so dang important because there's a lot of variability based on people's eating preferences or foods they don't like or allergies. There's a lot of variability. So it's an open structure that has some very rudimentary parts. It's something that you can't really change, but doesn't really affect the program. And then there's some manipulatable kind of fluidness within the program. All right, and then so with that, you also get a grocery list. So every week, the foods will change a little bit. The first couple weeks, it's pretty much the same across the board. Then after that, we start manipulating things a little bit differently. So there's gonna be a grocery list so you know exactly what to buy each and every week so you don't feel like you're buying food and wasting it. Um, and then there's also going to be some coaching that's done along with that. So a lot of the first initial calls along with mindset and sleep are gonna be some nutrition aspect things. So I wanna make sure that all of that is very, very clear and it's, you can understand it and there's not a lot of mystery there. Um, I never want you to feel overwhelmed. That's one of the reasons why the, the coaching aspect of this is so important because you can easily get a, an, e, uh, an eating template offline somewhere, but unless you know how to follow it uh, you know, in the right way and know how to make adjustments and things like that, you can feel very overwhelmed and just give up because it's just too hard to manage on your own. And then the very last phase is transformation training. So implementing the workout program, which is gonna be a strength training based program that also goes through an entire 12 weeks. And the reason why, again, I save this for last is because the exercise portion of things, while it's important, is not going to help you get the weight loss results you're looking for like most people think it is. A lot of guys that work with me, and you might be one of them, they come to me and they're exercising way too much. They're exercising five to six days a week. Um, they're, they're just feeling overwhelmed with it, but they think that that's what they have to do in order to lose weight. After a couple of weeks, after a couple of months, they stop losing weight or they, they, they weren't even losing weight and they feel discouraged and they give up and they kind of almost feel shameful like they're broken or something. The system's broken. Most people that I work with are not broken. They just have the wrong information in the wrong structure. So the workout program really is only gonna be two strength training days a week with some smaller increment, incremental low intensity days sprinkled in. So you can expect to work out two to three hours a week for the first couple months and then we'll sprinkle in some more workouts if you feel like you need or you want to actually do it. I want you guys to want to exercise. If exercise feels like a chore, it'll, be, it'll never be something you actually do the rest of your life. So you have to implement exercise slowly, you have to implement exercise and or uh, nutrition slowly, you have to implement everything slowly because it is a transformation. Transformations don't happen overnight, mindsets don't change overnight. It's a process and you need to take that process slowly. So the, the idea is to never feel overwhelmed. Now, don't get me wrong. There are guys out there that, um, that progress quicker than others. There's guys that need a little bit more time. It's not about how quickly you get there. It's about getting there and being able to stay there. So I want you to feel comfortable being able to take your time in this program. Yes, it's structured for 90 days, but if you feel like you're overwhelmed by the fact that you have to get everything done in 90 days, you'll never get the results you want. So take your time. 90 days is a long time. Um, I wouldn't put exercise at the last two months if I didn't feel confident that you would actually get results from only doing two months of exercise in the program. So trust me on this. Trust the process. Trust the way, trust the way it's been set up. It works, all right? It works. There are plenty of case studies. You'll, you saw it on the, on the program outline that I showed you guys. 
There are plenty of guys that are doing this that are seeing great results, so don't worry about it, all right? It might be different, it might be hard to trust something that you've never done before, but trust me in that this works and that you'll feel better than you've ever felt before on any type of program. And my goal is to always make this be the last thing you have to do when it comes to making a transformation. And uh, in fact, that's my guarantee. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video on the actual outline of the program. I hope that helped clear things up a little bit more for you so you don't feel kind of out of the loop when it comes to how the program is structured and what to expect and what to be doing. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching today's video and I will see you in a future video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook. There's a men's group which you will be a part of as well. That's something I didn't mention right off in the in the onboarding phase because it's still being uh, kind of remodeled a little bit so I didn't want you to jump in that right away. But that will be a part of it too. There'll be a kind of a support support group of guys that have been through this already which is a huge benefit to you. You can ask questions. There'll be guys that are like, you know, hey, this is what I experienced. And so that whole entire process will be a really powerful tool alongside the coaching you'll get from me once a week on those calls. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Follow those social media posts. Stay tuned for YouTube videos, all that good stuff. And I will see you in a future video.